Good evening, everyone. We're learning more tonight about the FBI's raid last month on Tennessee's Capitol Hill and questions that agents had for one of the targets of those raids. News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams was on the scene when those raids began, and he's now discovered that agents were interested in one of Tennessee Governor Bill Lee's signature pieces of legislation. An early morning knock on the door. It's the FBI. Last month, News Channel 5's cameras were there as former Tennessee House Speaker Glenn Cassida woke up to an FBI raid on his Franklin condo. As agents entered, the Williamson County Republican has now told associates they had questions. Questions about how he helped pass Governor Bill Lee's legislation to create school vouchers to pay for private school tuition. So how critical is, is that initial interview? Oh, that, that initial interview is extremely important. Retired agent Ben Purser headed the Nashville FBI office for 17 years. He says a lot of planning goes into that moment when the FBI knocks on a subject's door. In this case, Cassida has told associates who agreed to speak on the condition that they not be named that the FBI's first question focused on vouchers. If the interview is done properly, uh, you the case agent will either learn the facts uh, from, from a, a truthful interview, or the, the, uh, the person being interviewed sets himself or herself up to be prosecuted for lying to an agent. In April 2019, when Cassida was still speaker, a House vote on Lee's voucher bill. We are now voting on the bill. Failed 49 to 49, but Cassida kept the vote open. Come on, man. While he searched for a 50th vote. Livingston Democrat John Mark Wendell told News Channel 5 investigates that Cassida dangled the prospect of a lucrative National Guard promotion from colonel to general in exchange for his vote. Wendell says he rejected the offer, insisting his vote was, quote, not for sale. What do you know about that offer? Uh, I don't know anything about that. The governor, who has the authority to make National Guard promotions, insisted he knew nothing about the offer. One of the reasons the search warrant is typically the first overt item of an investigation is so there's an element of surprise. Ever since the FBI raid, which included several legislative offices, speculation about the investigation's focus has centered on alleged efforts by Cassida and his associates to steer anonymous money into political campaigns. Purser said it could be about both. Once the, the search warrant is underway, uh, there, there's no limit on the topics that, that can or should be discussed, no. In fact, House members had described a wheeling and dealing atmosphere that led to Cassida eventually getting his 50th vote. Among those involved, Cassida's then Chief of Staff, Kate Cothran, whose home was also among those raided. Kate Cothran comes to me on the House floor and uh, says that uh, we, meaning he and the Speaker, need my vote on vouchers and uh, what would I like. And your response was? To Kate Cothman, I said, you and the Speaker of the House have nothing that I want. Did you bribe anyone for votes for the SA vote? Oh, that's ridiculous. What do you mean ridiculous? Well, here's a question. Did you bribe anyone for the House or Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Just days after that vote, New Channel 5 has learned FBI agents showed up at the home of one state representative. That lawmaker who asked not to be identified said agents wanted to know about campaign contributions being offered to support the re-election efforts of those willing to vote for the bill. The availability of phones and computers, anything electronic like that, that could very well be a, a critical component of the investigation. Purser said that with the FBI seizing the cell phone of one Cassida associate, along with computers and all sorts of other files, investigators will have a significant trail to follow in the days and weeks ahead. Back when we first broke the story about the alleged offer of a National Guard promotion, Glenn Cassida released a statement insisting he did not have the authority to promote anyone, although critically, he did not deny that the subject was discussed. Cassida now has a criminal defense attorney who declined to comment for this story. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates.